Hello and welcome back to our Journeyman Career Mode. We are here with Northern Ireland and we've made our way into the World Cup. I'm going to show you the fixtures shortly, but uh, we have simulated ahead. We've finished the season here with Hamburg. They finished in fourth position. But interestingly enough, we did win the Champions League 2-1 over PSG. So uh, there we go, another trophy for Hamburg. But that's not what we're worried about anymore. We're deeply worried about what's going to happen with Northern Ireland. We've scraped through, we've qualified for the World Cup. So let's go and have a look at the group stage uh, and what groups are in contention in the 2030 World Cup. Right, so here we go with the FIFA World Cup. Group A has England, Switzerland, Wales, and Uruguay. We sit in Group B alongside Austria, United States, and Venezuela. Now, uh, will we see some of the players we have scouted through this career mode? I do not know, but it is a possibility. Uh, group C has Italy, so you'd assume Russo would be out there playing for Italy, Bulgaria, New Zealand, and Colombia. Group D has Brazil, Poland, Finland, and India. Group E, France, Ireland, Turkey, and Egypt. Group F has Germany, Scotland, Canada, and Cameroon. Group G has Spain, Russia, Australia, and the Ivory Coast. Group H hosts Argentina, Netherlands, Romania, and South Africa. So uh, some big groups here, but uh, our one looks okay. Um, who knows what these uh, international teams are looking like in 2030. We'll get into this. We'll play through the first three games here against Austria, United States, and Venezuela. And hopefully we can push through to the knockout rounds. The World Cup is upon us. We've got here with Northern Ireland. Let's see if we can carry them a little bit further. All right, let's take a look at the 23-man squad we have here for Northern Ireland. We've got a new goalkeeper, Barry Brady, who is at Hamburger, has uh, gone past Crow. He is up to an 89 rated. We'll have a quick look at attributes and the likes. Uh, 74 reactions, could grow a little bit more. He's still only 20 years of age, though. But uh, technically, it looks like he could be a decent option, and we will definitely be seeing him in action. Uh, Joseph Crow, who has carried us through, uh, has only 68 reactions and uh, some decent technical ability. That is for sure. At right back, we've got one, and that is Thomas Brennan, 82 rated, uh, six foot four, of course, and it looks like he is going to be the number one man here. I mean, he's a little bit all over the place in regards to stats, but hopefully he can be uh, defensive enough in this campaign. Kevin Hogan, 82 overall, six foot three, with a medium defensive work rate, um, decent jumping, sprint speed. The strength's not too shabby, and uh, once again, it's really just down to his defensive attributes that have got him to that rating. Hopefully, he can hold his end. Uh, partnering him up is Mark Murphy, the big unit, six foot three, high defensive work rate, 88 rated, and uh, while well, he's got physicals there to uh, really, hopefully destroy a few strikers uh, technical abilities aren't too bad as well he can definitely pass it out of the back line uh, in support we've got Shay Owens he's 27 years of age probably been around the career mode for a while I'm assuming he's a regen of some description we haven't touched his kit or anything like that but uh, yeah that's all we had in reserve at left back now, starting will be Sean Murphy. He's been with us some time, uh, 21 years of age, another six foot four lad, so a big, big unit uh, at the back. 84 sprint speed, not too shabby, and defensively that 99 stand tackle. Jamal Lewis still makes the squad at 32 years of age, 81 rated, uh, obviously has a bit of pace and experience and um, an early crosser. So uh, that is our defensive line. Central defensive midfield is Jerry Fagan, 85 overall, high defensive work rate, um, a strength beast. And hopefully he can hold his end at this uh, campaign, 91 long passing, and uh, he's got a giant throwing trait. Uh, his backup is Brad Smith at 76 rated. Um, you know, just a, a player there that can hopefully help us out. Um, we haven't really had a lot to do with Brad Smith. Right midfield, we've got Cole McDonald, 79 overall. Uh, he'll be part of the backup brigade. Not really got uh, a lot going for him other than the 85 acceleration. Some good technical abilities, though, so uh, hopefully he can help us out in a, in a pinch. Uh, Seamus Brady, 84 overall, the centre midfielder. Uh, high defensive work rate. Uh, physically not the best, but uh, technically very, very sound. Uh, 99 long shots. We'll see if we can bring that into play. 
Kevin Walsh, 22 year old, 84 overall, uh, should make his way into the starting lineup. Uh, physical, once again, not really there from what we needed. Uh, but technical attributes seem to be on point 99 finishing, 99 long shots. So an, uh, another attacker that we can use from the midfield. And Bobby Burns remains in the squad at 79 rated 30. We needed a little bit of experience here. And uh, Bobby Burns will definitely provide that. Can play a lot of positions and uh, will, should be able to help us out. Long throw in an early crosser. Another centre midfielder in the backup brigade is David Grigg, 77 overall, 5 foot 10. Uh, physicals aren't too shabby, 25 years of age, and well, hopefully he can help us out. One of the stars of this team, though, is Kian Crow with his two star skill moves and his one star weak foot. Oh, God. 92 rated, though. 99 acceleration, good sprint speed and agility and balance, good reactions, and uh, technical ability is good, too. It just, um, yeah, the weak foot. One star, the skill moves, two star. His backup is Kevin Farrell, 79 overall with a one star weak foot and a bald head. Uh, good acceleration and sprint speed again there and his technical attributes should help him out if we require him. We'll have to wait and see. The backup striker in this uh, contingent now is Darren O'Donnell, 20 years of age, 73 rated with a four star weak foot, only five foot seven. And uh, well, he was the second highest rated uh, striker, which is uh, a little bit dismal for Northern Ireland. Jerry Deary, 88 overall. Um, you know, we've seen him throughout this career mode. Uh, you know, he's got a bit of pace, but his, his physicals and mental attributes are pretty, pretty shabby. Uh, technicals, though, should help him out in this competition. His backup is Ian Dillon at a 75 overall uh, with some okay physicals and some not too bad technicals. Hopefully we don't rely on him too much. The big man on campus, of course, though, is Joseph Brady. Three-star skill moves, two-star weak foot. Just got to get in on that right boot, and he will generally score 99 sprint speed. Good strength, aggression, attack positioning, 98 finishing, 99 shot power. This is the man that is going to carry us if we've got any chance of uh, making, you know, through to the next round and hopefully onto a World Cup campaign. And left midfield, we've got Richard Breen, the 19-year-old, 87 overall, and uh, high hopes that this lad has a big campaign. Physicals have come with 94 sprint speed. He'll get pushed over because he's got the power of, you know, a paper bag. But uh, technical, you know, he's going to get the job done, and hopefully some crosses can come in. 60 long passing is a little bit... Uh, a little bit low, but we'll wait and see what happens there. The backup is Brendan Fagan, 77 overall, five-star skill move, four-star weak foot. Uh, some good physical attributes in pace and agility, and uh, some okay technicals in a pinch. We should be able to recall on him. That is our 23-man squad. Hopefully, we can go all right here in the group stage. Right, so it is time for the group stages of the World Cup. And the first game for us is up against United States. Pulisic looks like he's there on the on the uh, the menu, so uh, still floating about. Uh, they're going to have some some decent players here. The USA had some good young kids early in the career mode. Uh, I'm sure is it Weyer, the, the striker, should still be floating around. And uh, we've of course scouted the United States at some stages, so they may have some regens floating around. Let's get into this game and see if we can get three points in our opening game of the World Cup group stage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game one of our group. And we've got the USA. Can Northern Ireland get off to a flyer here? We're at Sanderson Park. Uh, not sure where the World Cup is being held in 2030, but uh, here we are. Martin Tyler and Alan Smith, the commentary team, and I'm um, trying to hope that we can see the team listings because we would like to see who is playing in this USA team. We won't know ratings or anything like that, but at least we can have a red-hot look. I could possibly go out and have a look at some of the team sheets. Um, later on in the episode but um, we'll have to wait and see what happens we've got to go through all this debacle of uh, the, the what do you call it the national anthems and all this jazz but um, hopefully eventually we do get to see a team name uh, and who is playing on the uh, American list Northern Ireland though we know who's out there uh, most of these players have carried us to get into this position and well how deep can we travel in this World Cup campaign. I mean, Joseph Brady is going to have to be on song nice and early. Hopefully, Ken Crow can feed a few balls through to him. But uh, this is a very, very weird scenario that's going on in the screen at the moment. It looks like they've shaken hands and everything, and the camera's just sitting on the outside pegs. There we go. Okay. Yeah, well done. We'll just get a quick shake of the hands of the referees, but the Northern Irish side have already taken off. 
are we going to see the team lineups? Are we going to get anything from the commentary team? Or are we just going to go straight to the middle and no one's going to know who's playing? It looks like that's the way it's going to go. Well, well, wonderful programming here by EA Sports. You can't really doubt their uh, ambition. Okay, no team, so we just wasted fucking 10 minutes. Let's get into this game. Deary looks inside. Joseph Brady! Bang! 1-0 Northern Ireland. A crappy start to the campaign to the captain. Getting an all-important goal inside 10 minutes. A set piece. Gets us the finish. Northern Ireland go into the front. Well, that is a lovely set piece from Brady. He's just beating off three men to get a top box finish. And there we go. 1-0 to Northern Ireland. Keep her out of position. His defender didn't jump. Just basically took three fingers to the face. And it's 1-0 Northern Ireland. Ricky Ricciano, Garlo loves it. There's Pulisic. Plays it in deep. And there is Brady. Plays it through to his older brother, Joseph. And there's Ken Crow. And he'll take a strike and works for that. The goalkeeper. In another corner. Here he plays it in, and it's, oh, crossbar. Oh, that one's come through the back door. Pulisic. Oh, Brady didn't have a chance to move on that one. Well, a little bit of a brain fart in the passing game, and Pulisic uses his pace to his advantage. He makes it 1-1 here. Game one of the World Cup 2030, and the American fans bloody happy about that one. Wow, that is an absolute shambles from the defense. And there was no stopping Pulisic, he was on the breakaway. And that makes it 1-1. Here's Wyatt, the Americans. Oh, Brennan just absolutely levels him. Well, he might get a talking to, it is a yellow card. Done for pace. He always knew that that was going to be a bit of an issue. And there is half-time, it's deadlocked at one apiece. open and he finds way out in the box and makes it 2-1 USA Northern Ireland are looking shaky he just cannot handle this pace of the wings Brennan and Walsh well Aaron Brady welcome to Northern Ireland you meant to be the number one but, uh, you failed yourself there and uh, well 2-1 down out of the USA Joseph Brady Back to Kieran Crow, back to Joseph Brady, who can't beat the keeper. Oh, Deary. Lays it off, he's got Breen. Oh, come on, don't shoot it straight at him. Oh, Brady, that's better. Better save, but USA getting some good looks. And it's Kieran Crow. Lays it off to Fagan. Seamus Brady, oh, good save, the keeper. He's shown up here. Laid out, quick touch on. Seamus Brady, oh, keeper! Donald plays it through. Farrell flicks it off, here is Walsh! Oh, keeper! Who is all that? One thing we are definitely lacking is pace. There's Wyatt inside, Murphy gets the touch. Brady makes the save here, but that'll be it. And we suffer a defeat, 2-1 to the USA on the opening day of the World Cup group stages. Well, 12 shots to five, but we just could not get the job done. Uh, let's have a look here at the performances. If we look at USA, Pulisic an 8.2. Uh, Ayo Akinola, Timmy Way got an 8.1. Durkin, okay. George Bello, Sergeant, no regents here. Evan Horvath is their goalkeeper. How fucking old is he now? Oh my goodness. Lindsay, trusty. Carlos Vickers, Robinson, Tyler Adams. Keaton Park, so no regions in here. Weston McKenney. And they just get the job done. It's a 2 1 defeat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game two of our World Cup campaign. This time we take on Venezuela. They won against Austria. So uh, we're going to need a victory here if we want to stay in contention. And we're going to need a big one. Come on, boys. Just fucking find something. We need a hero in this one. Joseph can't get the delivery at the moment. Come on, boys. Come on.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, game two of our World Cup. I'm not going to worry about looking for team names because they're obviously not going to show up. So we need a victory here against Venezuela. Who knows what they've got going on? But uh, hopefully Northern Ireland show up. And, uh, I'm not enjoying these daytime games, that's for sure. Cross picked out again, only as far as Fagan. Need to find Joseph Brady. We've got to get him into the game. There is Seamus Brady, though, who takes one from range, and the keeper called into action. It's a corner now for Northern Ireland. Deary lines one up, and it is! Oh, Joseph's hit the fucking crossbar again. There's Joseph. Get out of the fucking way. Just to play it off. Ian Pro, look at the box. It's absolutely stacked. And Seamus Brady from range. Oh, the keepers are on steroids. Murphy, Seamus Brady, oh, there we go. Woo! Long range bomb from Seamus. And it's 1-0 to Northern Ireland. Well, we knew he's got the 99 long shots. And we'll test it out wherever we can. That is an absolute thunder cunt from downtown to give us the lead. 1-0 Northern Ireland. And an absolute banger from Seamus Brady. Well, three Brady's playing. Can they carry us to World Cup glory? And Joseph's not doing it. Hopefully Seamus can help us out with some of those goals. 1-0. Deary. Pro. Joseph! Oh, good save. We are peppering Venezuela. It's still only 1-0. Joseph Brady just needs to assert himself. But 1-0 at halftime. Ian Crow. Fagan down the line. Here's Breen. We'll play back inside. Joseph! Gets it! There he is! A captain's goal. A 2 0 buffer. Oh, we knew we would find him eventually. He's found the space, made a brilliant run. That's a good little finish over the keeper. Eats a bit of grass on the way down. But 2 0 Northern Ireland and a better performance here today against Venezuela. We've been right on top. And deservingly. The second goal comes. And it's the skipper, Joseph Brady. 2-0 Northern Ireland. All right, they're making a change. We're going to make all of ours now at 2-0 up. Just try and rest some uh, players with a lot of games here in this competition. So uh, there we go. Let's make the changes. Walsh in for Kian Crow. Fagan, that's Brendan in for Breen. And Jamal Lewis gets a call up for Sean Murphy. A bit more pace injected out the back. In the corner. Deary to deliver. We'll look for Brady. No, oh, cleared away. And there's another goal for Northern Ireland. And who is it? I think it's Murphy. Big Murph. The big centre back rising to the occasion. It might be his first goal for Northern Ireland. I'm not too sure, but definitely our first goal. I'm pretty sure that we scored with him. 3 0 Northern Ireland puts us in a box seat. This is a better performance. And we'll take these goals and uh, three points this group stage. Oh, it's an own goal. What? Seamus. Joseph Brady works it on the right. And oh, this keeper. That's another crack here, Deary. Flips it up. Oh, is that onside? Yes, it is. Joseph Brady. Near post special. 4 0 Northern Ireland, and this is more like it. Look at this little chip from Deary. And he just works in the back of the pack and smack. Thank you very much for coming. 4-0 Northern Ireland. Would VAR be called in for that one? You'd probably assume so, but it's a lovely volley finish from Joseph Brady. Gets a brace here. It's 4-0 Northern Ireland. Aging Lewis with a bit of experience in this team. Tries it the back stick for Deary and they have batted five. 5-0 Northern Ireland, Jerry Deary with a goal. The World Cup campaign is well and truly alive now for Northern Ireland, you feel. If we can keep playing like this, we can go all the way. Big goal from Jerry Deary. His keeper, well, he was good and he's been good. And he's also conceded five. Well, there's the whistle. We'll take that one, 5-0 to Northern Ireland. And three points in the bank for this group stage. Right, 23 shots, 17 on target. Venezuela, who are you? Let's have a quick look here. Uh, all right. 
Uh, they've got a regent, Christian Perez, and another one in Villaba. 88 overall, Feliciano Villaba, 88 rated. Uh, Cadiz, we don't know what his rating is. Oturo, uh, Ramirez, Danny Perez, Hurtado, Herrera. Okay, an 83 rated goalkeeper. Well, didn't he get peppered? Uh, Otero, Otero. Yeah, okay, but that one is an interesting one. Is he someone that we scouted in the past? Feliciano Villalba, 88 rated left winger. All right, uh, the third game of this group. I'm not sure if there's three or six. I'm pretty sure it's only three. Um, United States won against Austria, so they have six points. Venezuela and Northern Ireland both with three. Uh, so Venezuela taking on America. We are taking on Austria. We need a victory here if we want to progress through to the next page or the next part of this uh, World Cup series. Uh, the boys are starting to be a little bit tired. Deary there, not at full stamina, but we're going to put this best team we can out on the park to try and get a victory here early against Austria. Uh, if you know the Journeyman series, we played with Austria in the last one. I doubt they've got the likes of uh, some of the players that we had. A Clemens Binhammer, uh, an Austrian lad from uh, the Oldham series. I don't think they're going to have anyone like that. Did we even scout Austria? Not too sure. But let's get into this game, see if we can get the victory, and hopefully we qualify for the knockout rounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, game three. We're taking on Austria. And, well, we need a victory here today. The USA in the box seat. If we want to push through, we are really going to have to have a, a red-hot crack here, and hopefully the boys are up for the challenge today. They look good against Venezuela, a 5-0 victory. Can we get the job done here today against Austria? Seamus Brady, throw. Joseph Brady, oh, he's pulled the trigger, too heavy. Drives it forward for Breen. Breen pushing on. Cuts back inside, looks for Joseph! Oh, oh, oh yes, lad! Get in! 1-0 Northern Ireland. Beat this man the ball and he will score. Massive goal from the captain. Take the lead here against Austria. And that is a wonderful goal from the skipper. Green just cuts back, waits for his captain to get in position. And he just Superman dived that one past the goalkeeper. 1-0 to Northern Ireland. And that is a wonderful finish from Joseph Brady. Pretty average from the keeper, to be fair. Murphy to Seamus, finds Joseph. Lays it off. Seamus Brady, oh! Not the fluency that we saw against Venezuela, but Brady flies through for Deary. Good save from Pence. And cleared away again by Austria. Well, there is the whistle for halftime. It's 1-0 to Northern Ireland. Both teams just sort of playing pinball football through the midfield. And only one goal separates us. Brady plays one forward for Joseph. Into the box. Does well, Joseph. Gets in! Back 2-0 Northern Ireland. And it's the skipper again. Well, we knew one man that was going to carry us home. It would be Joseph Brady. And he's doing the business right now. 2-0 Northern Ireland. USA are 1-0 up over Venezuela. And we could have just secured ourselves a spot through to the knockout rounds. Wonderful finish from Joseph Brady. Going to need a lot of heart, a lot of determination if we want to go far in this competition. And this is the man that can do it. 2 0 Northern Ireland. All right, two changes here for Northern Ireland. Kevin Walsh in for Ken Crow and Cole McDonald in for Jerry Deary. Seamus looks inside for Joseph. Ooh. Cole McDonald did well. Brady lays off for Fagan. Slips it out wide here for Breen. And that makes it great. And we will be qualified for the knockout rounds, that's for sure. Breen with the finish. 3-0 Northern Ireland. We've left Austria hung out to dry. I'm not even sure they've registered a shot in this one. Just in complete control. 3-0 now for Northern Ireland. We'll probably, fingers crossed, see us through to the knockout rounds of the World Cup. All right, we'll make our final change. Seamus Brady checks out for Farrell. All right, Joseph Brady on a hat-trick. He's going to have a red-hot crack here. Oh, yes! Get in! Boy! Woo! 4-0. And Brady with a hat-trick. Off the sidebar. Bottom fucking right bins. Pick that one out, Austria. Oh, my days. This man is a mountain. 
And he is absolutely on song. A World Cup hat trick for Joseph Brady. Gets in. Keep a win as well. It just had too much power. Reagan. Down the line. Brennan found Cole McDonald. He looks inside. Joseph Scott for. Come on down. 5 0 again for Northern Ireland. And this man is a one man wrecking ball. Wow, look at him make a run here. Just ducks off behind the defender. Perfect ball from Cole McDonald. And old McDonald had a farm. And fucking Brady has taken it to the markets. Gets in. Keeper, what are you doing, mate? Terrible. Northern Ireland on a roll. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's the whistle. What a performance from Joseph Brady in Northern Ireland. He's got four goals. He'll take a game ball. And that should lock us in to the knockout rounds of the World Cup. And Austria get one shot. One shot for the game. What a performance. What a display. And Joseph Brady there with a the perfect 10. What have Austria got going on? In their side, nothing to write home about. An 85 left back. Well, he got toweled up. Hans Wolfson, 83, 84. Honsack, Dominic Honsack. Schoff, Lazaro, Schmerbach. Salomon, Uma, Rasna, Patrick Pence. Uh, Lehmer, still playing there for Austria. Remember him in 83 overall. Maximilian Wobber. Uh, Marisic is an 84, so they've got a decent side. We just absolutely wrenched them. Right, so I'm not sure if it's three or six games, but uh, let's have a quick look at how their tables are working out. England and Uruguay on top on Group A. Group B, USA go through with nine points undefeated, but only scored five goals. We scored fucking 11, and we go through uh, with six. Group C has Italy and Colombia. Uh, they've still got games to play, so that will be once the season ticks over. Uh, maybe Patrick Cook there for New Zealand can carry them up. Uh, Poland and Brazil. India, interestingly enough, uh, are involved. Finland doing nothing. Uh, I mean, Finland, you've got Karelia. 90, 90 rated centre forward. All right, whatever. France, Ireland, Turkey. Germany and Cameroon have started their campaigns well. Spain and Russia dominating Group G. Oh, poor Australia. Uh, Group H, the Netherlands and South Africa. Argentina, Romania with no points at this stage. So uh, we'll check in once the season ticks over. That will be in the next episode. But hopefully you're enjoying this World Cup campaign with Northern Ireland. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for one dollar a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos go live. Make sure you put on that notifications bell. We'll see you next time.